We're set to bring you the second race now. It's bad enough when Bob McIntosh has one horse in a race, but when he has two horses in a race, as in the 1 and 1A entry, he's an awful tough competitor. And as a result, he's 3-5 to five on the board. He is the smallest double if he wins. Landfair Spirit looks like the horse that everybody is going to have to beat. He raced in the open event here last week, and now he's in this event, a 25,000 claimer. Second race moving through the backstretch. And there they go. They're off and pacing. As they leave the gate on the far outside, Brandy Bars drives out for the lead. Kentucky Crash down in at the rail. Preferred Flight drops in to be third. Landfair Spirit on the inside now. Fourth as they move into that first turn. It's Brandy Bars on top by a length. On the inside, Kentucky Crash is second. Preferred Flight races third. Landfair Spirit is fourth. On the inside, Mystic Blue Baron races fifth. Highland Triumph and Duff's Dallas. They're strung out fairly well, reaching the quarter pole. On top by one length now, it's Brandy Bars. On the inside, racing second is Kentucky Crash. Moving now to the outside, here comes Landfair Spirit, followed by Highland Triumph. In front of the grandstand, Brandy Bars has the lead. Landfair Spirit moves up on the outside now to challenge for second. In at the rail, pacing up now is Kentucky Crash. They move into the clubhouse turn. It's Brandy Bars with the lead. Kentucky Crash on the inside. That first quarter should read 29 seconds as Brandy Bars now takes them past the half with an inoperative teletimer. The half was in 101 and 3 with the lead on the inside Brandy Bars on the outside Landfair Spirit and at the rail is Kentucky Crash. Moving up on the outside, Highland Triumph now fourth. Preferred flight at the rail, fifth. Sixth on the outside is Duff's Dallas as they head for the three-quarter pull. With the lead, it's Brandy Bars on the inside. On the outside, Landfair Spirit uh, as they move around that turn. The three quarters was in 131. On the inside, Brandy Bars has control. On the outside, Landfair Spirit edges up and from far back, here comes Duff's Dallas with a charge three horses wide. They're off the turn into the stretch. Duff's Dallas up on the far outside now takes the lead. Landfair Spirit between horses, Brandy Bars at the rail. It's Duff's Dallas on the outside and here they are. And the six-horse Duff's Dallas goes off at 10-1 to 1 after winning last week in two minutes and four-fifths. A bit of an overlay here. And the favorite Landfair Spirit ends up fourth. There goes Tom Murtaugh. He drove this horse for Bill Hood of McGregor. Duff's Dallas comes charging from off the pace at the head of the stretch. And collars a tiring Brandy Bars. Duff's Dallas, the winner by two lengths of the second race. He returned 23-37, 24-30. Number five, Brandy Bars, 3-10, 3-30. The two-horse Kentucky Crash, 6-40. The Exactor, 66-70. And tonight's Daily Double, 2-6. Pays 273-40.